So sanding is one of the finishing processes and there are different sandpaper or sanding block options. Whenever you sand, you want to sand from the lowest grit to the highest grit. So in this case, 80 is our lowest and we're going to move up in increments and the next one's going to be 100. Grit is the number of particles within a one inch by one inch square. So as the number goes up, the smaller those particles are, making it a finer sandpaper. So rough or coarse grit is a low number and fine grit is a higher number. There are other options as well, such as machines. The belt sander for flat surfaces or edges and the drum sander or oscillating drum sander for internal curves. We also have the disc sander for external curves. The most common one we have used is the palm or orbital sanders. Each machine also takes different sandpapers and types and grits that will be used to complete the task. Whenever using machine tools, sometimes you'll get what's called tear out on your wood. And that's when the grain or the is torn away from the edges of where you just cut or drilled into. So when you're sanding, the first thing you wanna do is note that you have to sand with the grain, not against it. So follow the directions of the lines and then you're gonna move the sandpaper or sanding block or any machine you're using in that direction to remove the material nicely. If you go across the grain, you will actually create more divots within the wood than you will if you went with the grain, causing you more work later on. So you always wanna go with the grain, not against it. Remember to remove more wood, you wanna use a coarser grit. You only start working your way up once the defects or anything that needs to be removed is removed and then you can go to the next grit size. It may take some time, so patience is definitely required when sanding. A good trick that I use is I cover the spots that I need with pencil. Once the pencil is removed, I then go to the next grit. If you have large chunks of glue there, you need to scrape that off prior to using any sandpaper. All tools used should be done prior to using sanding. If you use a tool after you sand, you have risk of dulling the tool itself from the grit that is on or around the wood. When folding sandpaper, never fold it grit on grit. Always make sure it's against, and then you tear it like paper. Never use a scissor for you will dull the scissor or any tool used to cut the sandpaper. Thus, hand ripping is usually the method. Once again, you don't want to put the grit on top of grit because then it will sand each other and you don't want to use any other tool to tear or cut it because it will dull the tool.